Did you know that three years ago a headless monster was found in Antarctica? And did you hear that creepy spiders and huge squids as long as five-story buildings swim in the cold waters of this continent? Antarctica knows how to surprise not only with cold weather but also with unusual and scary fauna. And soon you'll see it for yourself. In this episode, I'll show you the creepiest creatures that were found in Antarctica. It'll be interesting. Headless Monster Chicken You must agree that even the name of this creature is creepy. So it must look scary too, right? Well, see and judge for yourself. To me, this creature's appearance is not the most pleasant to say the least. The Headless Monster Chicken is an unusual sea cucumber. It was discovered in 2018 by scientists from the Australian Antarctic Division when they were exploring the waters of the Southern Ocean to discover new animal species that no one had previously seen in that part of the world. The individual that the scientists captured was clearly different from its relatives, though it belongs to the Holothurian class. It was a strange and creepy creature resembling a headless chicken, hence its name. By the way, it was found at a depth of three kilometers, not far from Heard Island. Scientists have studied the strange individual and concluded that it has a bright red color and feeds on bottom sediments. Transparent membranes around the edges of the body make the sea cucumber look similar to a chicken body and allow it to swim, which enhances its ability to forage. Interestingly, sometime before that expedition, a similar individual had been seen in the Gulf of Mexico. Could this mean that such strange and creepy creatures are common all over the world? What do you think? Sea Spiders Mother Nature doesn't let arachnophobes relax even in the water, because as it turned out, spiders can live in the ocean. Sea spiders are marine arthropods which live practically at all depths and in all seas and oceans of the world. Waters of Antarctica are not an exception. You can come across these creatures there too. Sea spiders look creepy on their own, and those that live in the Antarctic region can boast an incredible resilience on top of that. Scientists have found that sea spiders living in the Antarctic waters have spent hundreds of millions of years learning to adapt to the harshest environmental conditions. By conducting a study, they found out that sea spiders have thrived and learned to adapt to the harsh living conditions in cold regions for 500 million years, and this despite the dramatic changes in temperature and chemical composition of the ocean that accompanied the mass extinction at the end of the Permian period, which resulted in the death of almost all marine life on Earth. However, scientists do not fully understand what makes Antarctic sea spiders so strong and persistent, and this secret, in my opinion, makes these monsters even creepier. Colossal Squid Antarctic waters are frightening not only with creepy spiders and headless monsters, real giants live there as well. The name of the colossal squid makes it immediately clear what it is. The word colossal in the name of the species is not a hyperbole or embellishment. These squids are really gigantic. They reach 10 to 14 meters in length and weigh about half a ton. But length and weight are not all. The eyes of the Antarctic colossal squid, which can be up to 27 centimeters in diameter, deserve special attention. Just imagine such eyes the size of a saucer or a small plate. You wouldn't want to come face to face with such a monster, would you? Fortunately, such an encounter is almost impossible. First, these squids swim only in the Southern Ocean which many of us will never get to in our lifetime. And second, Antarctic colossal squids live at depths of 200 to 2,000 meters. By the way, that's why these monsters have grown to such sizes. The colossal squid is a typical example of deep sea gigantism. It's the tendency for species of invertebrates and other deep sea dwelling animals to be larger than their shallower water relatives across a large taxonomic range. Deep sea gigantism can affect not only these creepy squids, but also other organisms. For example, shrimp-like creatures. In their normal environment, they barely reach a centimeter in length, but at great depths, they can grow as much as several dozens of centimeters. Stay tuned to find out what I'm talking about, as well as see the scary Antarctic sharks, the unusual sea pig, and learn about the unknown and mysterious creatures that scientists have found in Antarctica recently. Let's move on. Amphipoda Creatures with the unusual name of amphipoda look like shrimps, which isn't surprising because they belong to the crustaceans. They look quite creepy, but fortunately, amphipods are quite small. They're creepy only under a magnifying glass or microscope because they only reach a few millimeters in length. 
At the same time, in some places, scientists have found amphipods up to 28 centimeters long. Such size amphipods were photographed at a depth of 5,300 meters, which means that they've undergone deep sea gigantism, which I've already told you about. These are the kind of amphipods you definitely don't want to encounter. By the way, amphipods are not as harmless as they seem. If they swim up to the shore and come closer to the surface, they can bite a swimmer who's entered the water. They bite quite painfully and hard, so the swimmer may bleed. So, though these crustaceans are small, they can frighten an unprepared swimmer and even attack them, which will not be pleasant. Scotoplanes Scotoplanes are also known as sea pigs, though they don't look like pigs. Scotoplanes are deep water inhabitants of the world ocean. They can be found at depths of one kilometer and below. Although they mainly live in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian oceans, some species can be found in the Antarctic. Depending on the species, scotoplanes have six or more pairs of legs, which are tubular growths on the abdomen. It looks a little creepy, or at least strange. When moving, scotoplanes do not move the legs themselves, they move the cavity on which the limbs grow. As the creature moves, it picks up small organisms from the bottom and shoves them into its mouth. This is aided by the scotoplane's versatile mouth, which is equipped with a dozen tentacles. By the way, this creature is also interesting because it was one of the first organisms to question the idea that there's no life at a depth of more than 1.8 kilometers, as scientists previously believed. Southern Sleeper Shark Of course, Antarctica can't do without sharks. What do you think Antarctic sharks look like? Maybe something like this? That creature looks pretty creepy, right? But Antarctica is home to a slightly different kind of shark. The Southern Sleeper Shark, or the Whitley's Sleeper Shark. These sharks swim in the Southern Pacific, Indian Ocean, and Atlantic Ocean, which means their range is the Antarctic waters. These sharks are found near the bottom of the continental and island shelf and in the upper part at a depth of 485 to 1,150 meters. The maximum length of an individual is 438 centimeters. These sharks reproduce by avoviviparity, which is a form of reproduction that combines signs of both live birth and oviposition. These sharks are very scary-looking creatures. No one would want to encounter them, would they? The good news is that encounters with these monsters are extremely rare because southern sleeper sharks live at great depths. And besides, they're practically not caught because these sharks are not of interest for commercial fisheries, so it's extremely problematic to see these sharks in person. It's for the best, I guess. Unknown Creatures in February of this year, scientists from Great Britain discovered unknown animals on the seafloor beneath the Antarctic ice shelf. The creatures look like sponges. The animals were found during exploratory drilling on the Filchner ice shelf. Before the recent discovery, it was thought that there was no such life forms on the Antarctic coast, so the unknown creatures became a scientific breakthrough. At the same time, scientists don't yet know what these creatures might be, which makes them look a little scary. Scientists speculate that they may find small scavengers and predators like fish, worms, jellyfish, and krill living in total darkness under floating glaciers in Antarctica. The scientists said the discovery of a new species deep beneath the ice shelf raises many ecological questions that cannot yet be fully answered. Andril Anemone In January 2014, an ice drilling program called Andril was conducted in Antarctica. As part of this program, scientists explored the Southern Ocean using a special robot to learn more about ocean currents. While exploring the currents, the robot stumbled upon an unexpected and therefore frightening find, a strange anemone. It was found upside down and buried in the ice. Scientists determined that this species is the only one of its kind living this way. It turns out that the Andril scientists managed to discover an entirely new species that was previously unknown. The discovered individual was named the Andril anemone after the research program. It's worth saying that the creature was found in the Ross ice shelf in a hole that was 270 meters deep. It was a complete surprise and even a shock to the scientists. They couldn't understand how exactly the anemone made a hole in the bottom of the ice shelf and remained there, while the surface of the glacier was constantly melting. Could it be some kind of alien anemone with advanced intelligence? What do you think? That's all, guys. What other creepy Antarctic creatures do you know? Share your answers in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.